that I could wear this like all I could think of is to put it with a pair of jeans I just think this is it's so colorful and it's just so much that I just I don't know so I definitely need help on what I could pair this with but I just chose a pair of my oversized really comfy baggy jeans a pair of black heels and yeah that's it <laughs> I just put on the little top and the sweater vest thing and I just called it a day. I really have no idea what else I could put with this. I really truly do not know. I need help. Someone help me. I need it badly. Okay. But this is what I got. Let's just get into the next outfit. The next piece was this cropped top that I made. This is the top and then the back was a little bit longer um i could wear it in reverse if i wanted to which i think is really cool and i decided to just pair it with you know my little leather jacket this fun printed skirt and my favorite boots of all time there's nothing i don't think there's anything wrong with this outfit i just don't love it so i'm gonna see if there's anything else i have that really just like sparks a lot of joy but this is something that i would wear and it's got a lot of black in the outfit so that like makes me feel good I don't know <laughs> some weird attachment that I have with black but like this is the outfit very simple very easy um the skirt is really short but yeah I think this is cute and it's a fun simple little little get up so I love this outfit because this is my everyday outfit I wear at least one variation of something sort of like this once a week, at least, minimum. Um, but yeah, so it's just this black knit crop top that I made and my baggy jeans and my white sneakers. Uh, really nothing else to it. I mean, I probably could accessorize this, accessorize this and make it a bit cooler, but this is realistically how I would wear it on a regular everyday kind of a basis this is what you get so yeah that's it I like it it is me every single day of my life next all right so once again I have on the same knit top that I had as before except this time I flipped it around the other way so the shorter side is on the back now and the longer side is up front and realistically I would just pair this with you know my little light denim jacket these pants they're so comfortable and my little black flat sandals uh, maybe I would throw on like a little gold necklace maybe some like rings or something maybe a sunglasses and like a crossbody bag I don't feel like pulling that stuff out my room is already a mess from everything I've done so far but that is realistically like how I would wear this and again this is also like an everyday outfit that anybody would kind of sort of see me strolling the streets in i really like this i think it's a really nice easy simple kind of look and i don't know yeah <laughs> this is my outfit so this outfit i wanted to make sure i put something that was a little bit more like work appropriate um i have actually worn this top to work not in this outfit but i've worn it before so i wanted to find another pairing that I could do it with that I could wear to work so this is what I came up with it's actually a little bit more than what I would normally do but I think it's kind of cute so I just have this oversized um white button up I just put my black top over top of it and I have the shorter side showing in the front so the longer sides in the back this time and I paired it with just a pair of my blue dress pants navy blue dress pants and my black heels and i don't know i just think this is really easy i think it's really cute it's a fun way to make a work outfit especially if you have a sort of like a, a dress code or something that you have to follow for work i think this is just a way of making it more fun because you know work attire 
especially the more formal you get, the more boring it becomes. I actually have a lot of freedom with what I can wear to work. So this will definitely be making its way to the lineup. I might actually wear this tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, this is my work appropriate outfit. All right, so now for my next top, which is this colorful, uh, what was it? Like a, my Mew Mew dupe. Uh, I decided to pair it with just a pair of my denim shorts. Once again, my black sandals and my oversized white shirt. I love this. This is so me. I really, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with this outfit. I would wear this every day if I could. I really like this. It, it's very chill. Traditionally, I think, you know, on like hot summer days, I'd probably like just wear it like this, which so you guys can see the back of it. Um, I'd probably wear it just like this without this little number, you know, while it's still hot out. And then when it gets colder, then I would, you know, throw this on and bring it into play. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot this summer. So real quick before I change out this outfit, I just want to show you guys another way that I could wear, you know, this exact same outfit. So instead of wearing the white top over top of my outfit. I just stuck it underneath the top. I still have on the same shorts as before. The only thing I swapped out were my shoes. I could have kept the other ones on, but you know, me being me, I'd probably wear them with my combat boots. And yeah, I just wanted to throw this one in the mix because it's literally the exact same stuff. The only thing that changed are the shoes and which top was <laughs> above the other. But I do really like to like put baggier oversized shirts underneath some of my more fitted tops I, I just think it's like a cute little fun way to switch up an outfit and not be so traditional with just like how you wear your clothing so yeah this is the other variation of this outfit that I will be wearing for sure this summer all right and then the last look that I think I'm I'm gonna do for today is this set that I called my um my sun suit <laughs> I think that's what I called it in my last video because there is in fact no way that I'm going to wear this swimming um but here we just have you know the top I made with the matching wrap and then I just have my bikini bottoms underneath it one thing I really like about this wrap is that you know I could wear it with the slit to the side but I could also like bring it forward and let it be like a little like open cape kind of a moment so I really like that I can wear that either way and traditionally speaking I would just you know have my cute little sun hat and a pair of sunglasses and I would up and go and just enjoy my time at the beach or pool or you know whatever body of water I am chillaxing at real quick because there were there were three pieces that I made with it. And so the third is this little headband. I was gonna make a full blown bandana, but my fingers were starting to cramp up. So I just made it a headband instead. But this is the full getup. I'm really excited to bring this one out with me when I go to the beach, not in the water, because I'm not getting in the water with this. So thank you for watching my video. Thank you to the individual who requested that I make a styling video with the, you know, all the stuff that I made. Um, much respect to you. I know a couple of people, quite a decent amount of people have been asking me about patterns for the stuff that I've made. Unfortunately, because this is quite literally the first I've ever really done with crochet, I don't have patterns for anything. I was just winging it but I am going to try and take some time to like go back and recreate these things. And if I can remember how I did everything, I will definitely make a pattern and update you guys, maybe even make another uh, video or tutorial of how you can make some of these pieces yourselves. So fingers crossed I get around to that, but thank you so much for watching. Leave me some video recommendations of other things you would like to see me do on this channel. And as always, Stay spicy. Bye guys.